Hey guys, welcome back to the Albanian Way and today we're going to be taking a look at the electronic valve for the washers. Um, if you have the same issue and your washing machine is doing this right now. See that? Right there. Yeah, it's getting full. So basically what's happening is um, these electronic uh, valves are getting weak and it's not stopping the inlet all the way as it should so it might be this side or that side that's probably not working right but whatever it might be um, just go ahead and replace a whole um, electronic valve for the washing machine it's very easy to do all we need is a fill screwdriver to get underneath the hood there and off you go so let's take a look you got one screw right here. Okay, then you wanna shut off your water. You want to get rid of the water here and you're basically just gonna get it through the cycle so you can go through the spinning and then rinsing of the water and then drainage and all you do is basically put it on spin cycle and and activate it Right now it's draining the water. Not even a drop of water, it's very clean. All right, now we can go ahead and uh, replace the valves. Take out the plug. You wanna remove, of course. Inlet. We have more space here. We can continue unscrewing these. So you pull it on both sides. Well, I guess this side screw needs some more. So now you should be able to pull it forward. I mean, pull it towards you and then just flip it. Just like this. All right. Oh, look at that. Some instruction from 1800 something. Who knows how old this thing is. Uh, you wanna release this? Okay, so with everything unhooked in the back, we can continue to where we left off. So we fold this up again, and you use your screwdriver, you push the screwdriver right here, and you just fold it back to release the tab. It's best done with a flathead screwdriver, but... This will somehow do it too. And I probably can use this instead. There you go. Even better than a flathead. All right, leave these two aside. Now, this whole housing can be lifted up like this. You literally remove it like this. And there it is. Right, let's put this on the side. Now we can work on taking this bad boy out of this. So let's remove the tab here. All right. And I apologize for making this video so uh, bad without stand and stuff like that, but that's the fastest I could come up with right now. 
at this customer's house. I didn't even want to film it, but I just thought, well, it's something that I can show on YouTube. Uh, just release the tabs in the back, fold this back. All right, with the tabs in the back, they're released. You just pull it out. So looks like the bad side was the uh, cold water. You could probably clean it and make it to work again, but then again, how long is that, is that gonna last you until you really need to replace it? So you might as well just replace it. I'll put a link in the description again, as always with all the parts I buy. Um, and it's again an Amazon part. Gotta love Amazon, two day shipping. All right, so back in the place with the tabs. So bottom first and then click in. And this video, you're probably hating me for filming like this. But you get the idea, just snap it back in place. And we can go ahead and Put this back together. Now we push this thing back in place. And we hook this back up here. Tabs back in. Just push them down. Okay, now we can flip them over and make sure that we go in here and push in the back like so to so make sure it's pushed in the back. This way we know for sure that if we screw them back in, the screw hole will align. Let's hook all these back up. Now the true test. Let's turn them on. Probably need to get some channels for these. Tighten up further, because right now they're just hand tightened. But, like I said, true test is under the hood. That's how we want it, clean and dry. All right guys, if you find this video somewhat useful, please share, subscribe or like, and I'll see you next time for another DIY. Thank you for watching.